this is Chris. It's the middle of December as I am recording this and I thought I would do a halfway through flip through of my December daily slash gratitude journal. I'm not much of a journaler but I thought this December I would I would try the December daily journaling. Last year I did a gratitude journal. I did it um, I made it with this Christmas card and then I made some journaling pages on my computer and made it into a book and uh, I enjoyed doing that so this year I thought I would do a gratitude December daily junk journal so I have some Stamperia papers and um, another older paper pad with Christmas and this is made from a gift bag I have one here Oops. similar to this, this one's smaller of course but this type of bag and um, I have a video that shows how I made it if you're interested in making a journal from a paper sack like this and so the way that I do it, the way that I cut the sack, it makes uh, some interior pages. So I have pocket pages here where I can keep some of my tags that I'm as I'm working on my journal. And then it has three signatures. So you can see three signatures in there. And I plan to make it last for three years. So this is um, 2020. And I put daily down here, so it says December daily. And then I just uh, worked in each page. And uh, I tried to write something. I didn't think I was going to have very much to write about, but as a matter of fact, my uh, transmission went out on my car, so I have no transportation. And then I had um, a minor medical problem that I needed to see my doctor about, and I had no transportation. So I had things like that to write about. So I just wrote each day in my book. And then I began to realize that it was getting very thick right here where all the pockets and tags were. So I had to come up with a way to put pockets and tags up at the top. So I put a little belly band here. And I put one of my tags on there. And then this one is put in with a paper clip and a little bit of uh, uh, vintage fabric. And then this one and the one on the next page are held in by a little brad. And so they can be turned up like this to be read or it can be easily undone. Be turned up like this to be read. And then I went ahead and um, did the days of the week for the rest of the month. And here's Christmas. I put a gold doily on. And then it goes through to Happy New Year. And then the next sec signature will be for next year. So I'll show you a little bit of what I've done. So each page has my what I'm talking about for the day, what I did, and then each tag is my gratitude. And I wanted to put in photographs too. For instance, um, my car that broke down. I was grateful for so many years with that car and the trips I was able to take and I wanted to put in photographs so I could fit in a photograph but it really started to make it bulky so I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do. And so these um, little stamps are for December daily. They have one, two, three on them. And those come from, let me get her um, digital. Those come from ant.paperdesigns on Etsy. And they're very cute. They're very vintage antique images. And um, they go all the way through the 31st.
So I use some of those. And then I used also the circular ones. from Vintage Studio 717 and um, they're quite large and so I I cut mine down to 75% uh, to get this size. It's about, a, about an inch and, inch and a half I think. So um, I printed them out different sizes to see which size I wanted. So I use those two different digitals throughout the book. I cut out from my other paper pad, I cut out uh, little squares. I cut them all out at the same time, at the same size. So these are the squares. And so then I would just pick out whatever color I wanted to back up my little um, dates, a date stamp. And so then, like I said, each tag is uh, grateful. It says today and I put the date down. I am grateful for Buddy my cat because he is a sweet companion to me and I put a little picture of him on there and this page because it has text all over it I just wrote on a Stamperia journaling card and stuck that in there and I put the date, if it's loose, I put the date on it so I can make sure it's in the right page. And then here's another um, tag with the journaling on the back. And this one, because it's also had the writing on it, I glued a piece of ledger page on there and then made these little tabs to tuck it in. And then here's my gratitude tag in here. And so that fits under there, and this fits under here. And then here I just took some, um, from some uh, die cuts that I bought at Tuesday morning. Um, I show those more in my, in my Tuesday morning haul. And a picture of the house where I live, which I'm grateful for. And wrote on the back of that. And so I just had different ways. This is when I ended up going to the urgent care to find out why I was not functioning properly. I thought I feel fine. I just things weren't functioning properly. And then here's another um, gratitude and another um, die cut uh, tuck spot with a, another gratitude. And this one I put the date down at the bottom. Here's another tuck spot and some samples of washi tape and then I accidentally had a wet hand when I leaned on this another um, little tag in there and then this little Stamperia kitty cat and I stamped gratitude on there and wrote a short um, gratitude on there and this is my leaf print so I wrote about making leaf prints and then I started um, finding ways to put the tags up at the top so that it wouldn't get so bulky down here so I made a like a side tuck here and it just fits in like that and then this belly band that I showed before fits in there and these two and then a little uh, I've got a ribbon bookmark in there and these and so that's where I'm left off so today is Thursday the 17th And so I just went through and put in all my dates. And then I can finish filling out each one each day. So I would like to show you, um, as I was doing this, and my gratitude journal from last year, when I made um, these little pages that say, Today, I'm grateful for because... And so I decided to uh, make a digital kit with those so that if you want to do um, something similar, you can. So this is the digital kit that I made. 
and I'll just go through it in case you find something that um, you could use to make something like this. First there's um, full page standard size junk journal pages with the same prompts. They all have the same prompts. Today I'm grateful for because you can print these back to back and fold them. They come in plain white or there's uh, with a tea dye background. And then I also have um, half pages. So I've already cut some here. And you can print these back to back, stack them up, and that would make a journal of this size with a nice little greeting card cover. Or you could make your own cover, a little quilted cover, or slow stitched cover, whatever you would like to do. And those also come in white and tea dyed. And then there's large tags. And these can be glued on the backs of uh, decorative paper that you can embellish. And so you embellish would be the side of your tag and then you flip it over and you would have your little gratitude tag on it. That also comes in colors. And then there's also small tags, which are the ones that I'm using in this journal. So here's a small tag. These also come in colors. So it was this tag right here. And then I'll be gluing that onto the back of um, some Stamperia tags. And for instance, this is a Stamperia tag. And I just glued it on the back like that and then trimmed it off around the edges. So then I put in two bonus pages of my um, eco prints. This is a maple leaf and this is a cup flower. It's a very subtle blue. This is my neighbor's cup, cup flower. But it has some beautiful um, dying around the edges where the color leaked in. So I threw in a couple of those that you can use in your junk journal. And then I have prompts. And so this is to help you get started with your gratitude journal. And it just tells a little bit about being grateful. And then just like on the cards it says today I am grateful for because and then this will give you some ideas. For instance under home life, you're grateful for your parents or grandparents, spouse or partner, children, grandchildren, extended family. And so this will just um, trigger your memory and you'll say, oh yes, I, I'm grateful for my continuing education or I'm grateful for the pool that the community center has and things like that. And that will help you out with that. And then I went online and I got some um, really nice quotes and these are from the Shutterfly community. I have a link if you want to um, look into it further, but there are 50 quotes here from people like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry Ward Beecher and Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson said, when I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. So there's 50 of those. Here's a little bit um, of how to, how to use the tags and things. And then here's some um, Gratitude quotes from success.com. There's 15 of these and these are these are pretty interesting. Zig Ziglar and Dalai Lama, and Albert Einstein. And so you can cut these out and paste them in your journal or you can use your own handwriting and, and write them in your journal. And where I had a little space I added some little um, vintage clip art. So there's some a tag there and there's a a little label here. Even this could be cut out and colored and, and used for something. So that kit is in my Etsy shop and there will be a link below. The Etsy shop is the same name as my YouTube channel. Chris O Art and Design Shop. And so I'll go through and show you next year's which I may do differently. And who knows, I may do collage instead of instead of journaling. Or I may all do do uh, photographs. 
and stick uh, photographs on there. This is the view of uh, sunset outside my house, a panorama. And then I have a third signature for the year after next. And I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. We'll see what happens. And then you come to the back of the book, and this is part of the paper sack again. And there's more pockets in here, so I can put things in there that I'm going to use. When I um, first started this, I fussy cut a lot of things from the Stamperia pack. And I got die cuts, and I sorted them out into these pockets until I was ready to use them. And this opens up like this. There's lots of room. I'm going to store um, photographs of my family that they send me and, and maybe uh, special Christmas cards and special family letters will be stored in those pockets. So that's my little December daily for 2020 and um, it's been a difficult year for everyone. It's a worldwide experience I think. And uh, I hope and pray that next year things get back to normal. So have a great holiday. And if you're making a December daily, have fun with that. Bye-bye. Have fun creating.